Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Atam Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shivishkam Vitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagana Jana Shilaka Chakshura Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Abhidam Ujjwalam Varatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwa Gurun Shah Divyat Bhagavat Prem Nawe Bijat Pradam Devam Divyatanam Suchandavaranam Balar Kachelan Shitam Sadrananda Puram Sarekabaranam Vairagya Vidyambudim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Bandetam Shivaram Mareka Sharanam Nyashishwara Sridharam Manchakopatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Pavanibhyo Vaishnabhyo Namo Nama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurata Vishe Nama. So we're hearing from Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the hidden treasure of the sweet absolute, with translation and commentary by Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. And this has been translated into English by uh, Sri Swarupananda Prabhu. So I'm on verse number. I'm on chapter 4, which is Jnana Yoga, the path of knowledge, and verse number 23. Gata Sangasya Muktasya Jnana Vastita Chedasa Yajna Yacharata Karma Samagram Bravaliyate For one who is detached, enlightened, and liberated, all his actions performed in the spirit of sacrifice are perfectly dissipated. For one who is detached, enlightened, and liberated, all his actions performed in the spirit of sacrifice are perfectly dip dissipated. Commentary. The actions of one practicing the yoga of selfless action do not lead to a purva as considered by the philosophers known as karma mimamsaka. According to their uh, ethical yet atheistic ideology, the karma mimamsakas or mundane rationalists claim that pious actions produce an unseen subtle potency known as a purva which must fructify at the appropriate time after death. Their conception that this fruit can later be shared by others is meant to show the eternality of karma or action, but it ignores the presence of the Supreme Autocrat. So the statement of Sri Krishna, Samagram Pravaliyate, all actions are dissipated, ought not to be misinterpreted to mean that the actions of liberated souls cause some such remote worldly consequences were a purva. Rather, the Lord indicates that the actions offered to him by the selfless karma yogi do not cause any subsequent reaction to be either enjoyed or suffered by others in this mundane plane. So this is interesting that the actions are dissipated. Uh, it says, for one who is detached, Enlightened and liberated, how is his, all his actions performed in the spirit of sacrifice are perfectly dissipated. So that means there's no actual karmic, karmic result. But that is done with the consideration of, of, of offering everything to the Lord. So we're in the chapter about jnana yoga, but at the same time we're understanding that one, someone who is and proper understanding of their relationship in the Lord will not be, that person will not become entrapped by his actions because they're being done in a mood of sacrifice. And that sacrifice is always yagya vai vishnu. It means always the sacrifice is being offered to the Lord. 
Brahmarpanam Brahmavir Brahmagno Brahmana Hutam Brahmaiva Tena Gantavya Brahma Karma Samadina Brahmarpanam Brahmavir Brahmagno Brahmana Hutam Brahmaiva Tena Gantavyam Brahma Karma Samadina The ladle is Brahman the oblation is Brahman offered by Brahman into the fire of Brahman. One whose consciousness is fully absorbed in Brahman action certainly attains to Brahman, the Absolute. So here Brahman refers to acting in the spirit in for um, the service of the Lord because the Lord is part of Brahman and this means offering everything into uh, the divine, the, the 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 supreme spiritual Lord Brahman, the the impersonalists think that Brahman is impersonal, but here we find that the one whose consciousness is fully absorbed in Brahman action certainly attains to Brahman, the absolute. Then, but this is being stated in terms of sacrifice, like. It's mentioning the ladle as Brahman. So we know in a fire sect there vice, there's the there's the label. The oblation is Brahman. We know that the ghee is offered into the fire. Offered by Brahman in the mood of, of of service to the Lord, in the fire of Brahman. So everything is everything is mentioned there that we would find in a fire sacrifice. One whose consciousness is fully absorbed in Brahman action certainly attains to Brahman, the Absolute. Daivam nevapare yagyam yogina paryupasate brahmagno apare yagyam yagyenaivo pajuvati. Some yogis offer sacrifices to the demigods and others offer the self into the fire of Brahman by vibrating the Pranava Mantra Om. Can you close the door? Shrodra Dinindriyanyanye Samyam Mag Nishu Juvati Shabdadin Vishayan Anya Indriyag Nishu Juvati. Some offer their senses of hearing, touching, seeing, tasting, and smelling into the fires of self control. Yet others offer the sense objects of sound, touch, form, taste, and smell into the fire of the senses. So these are the practices of those who will pursue an impersonal result. They're trying to offer everything. They're trying to actually become one with the, with the Brahman. So some offer their senses of hearing, touching, seeing, tasting, and smelling into the fires of self-control. Yet others offer the sense objects of sound, touch, form, taste, and smell into the fire of the senses. <clears throat> Sarvan Indriya Karmani Prana Karmani Chapare Atma Samyamya Yogagno Juvati Jnana Deepite. Again, there are the yogis who offer all the functions of the senses and the life forces into the yogic fire of self purification ignited by knowledge. Dravya yagya, stepo yagya, yoga yogya, tatapare, svadhyaya jnana yagya, scha, yataya, samsita vrata. Sincere in their practices and faithful to their vows, some persons sacrifice their possessions, some undergo strict penances as a sacrifice, some practice the eightfold mystic yoga as a sacrifice, and yet others perform knowledge sacrifice by singing and introspectively studying the Vedas. So all these are different practices being explained 
by Krishna. And certainly in the Bhagavad Gita, there's so many different forms of engaging oneself in, in yoga. But all these are being explained by the Lord himself <clears throat> to his devotee. It's, so the approaches is, the approaches from many different, we can say, many different ways of approaching, engaging oneself, but ultimately, this is the Bhagavad Gita, the song of God. It's being, it's being explained by Krishna to his devotee. And in every chapter, though, it's going prog the, the chapter is going progressively to the attainment of the highest level of, the, of realization based on what's being described in that chapter. And it's always coming to the point of offering devotion to the Lord. So these are different paths. Certainly, the Lord is explaining all the different paths of yoga to, to Arjuna. But at the same time, he's making it understood uh, what, what it means to engage in devotion to, to him, himself, to Krishna. Hey, I just read 28, right? Now, 29. Pranapana gati rudva pranayamya parayana apare niyatahara pranan praneshu juvati. Others practice breath control, closing the right nostril and inhaling through the left. They bring the ascending air into union with the descending, closing the left nostril and exhaling through the right. They similarly offer the descending air into the ascending, then closing both nostrils. They check both ascending and descending airs. Yet other practitioners of self-control offer all the senses into the life airs by reducing their food intake. So there are so many different ways in which one can engage in yoga. And certainly we hear about pranayama, all these different controls of breathing. But always the end, the end realization will be to be, to surrender to Krishna. That's what, that's how he will, he will direct one, but he'll explain. There, yes, there's this path of yoga and there's that path of yoga. But ulti ultimately, they're all pursuing a relationship with the Lord. Sarve pi, sarve pyete yagya vido yagya, shayita kalmasha yagya, shishtamrita bujo, yanti brahma sanatanam. All these persons are knowers of sacrifice, purified by sacrifice. Enjoying the nectarian remnants of sacrifice, they turn to the they attain to the eternal plane of the absolute. Nayam Lokosti Ayagyasha Kutonya Kurusatama or Juna for most of the Kurus. Without sacrifice, one cannot attain fulfillment in the world to say nothing of the, of the ne next. So one has to be, this is, this is a proper understanding of life. One life involves some sacrifice. We have to be willing, ultimately, at, at, towards the end of the Gita, Krishna is saying, Sarvadharma paritya mamikam sharanam braja, ham tvam sarva pape bhyo moksha yashyami mashucha, that you have to surrender ultimately to Krishna. You surrender to the Lord and he says he will take care of you. You don't have to worry about anything. But here at the same time, we know there's so many different practices of yoga. Some practitioners of the different kinds of yoga, sometimes some are personalist and some pursue an impersonal end. And, and later, Arjuna asked about these different paths. And Krishna says that it is always better to follow the path of personalism because for one who is, um, for, for, for one, 
it is very difficult to pursue realization of the formless uh, aspect of the absolute. And Krishna rec tells Arjuna that he's properly situated. But these paths are being explained. Evam bahu vida yagya vidata brahmano muke karmajan viditan sarvan evam gyatva vimoksha se. Thus many types of sacrifices are described in the Vedas and allied scriptures. Know that they are all accomplished through action of thought, word, and deed. Knowing this, you will be liberated from the bondage of action. If you're engaging, engaging your, your, if you're sacrificing all, all your actions into the service of the Lord, Know that they are all accomplished through action of thought and deed. Many types of sacrifice are described in the Vedas and allied scriptures. Know that they are all accomplished through action of thoughts, word, and deed. Knowing this, you will be liberated from the bondage of action. So, and we can remember here. In Let's see. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Thirty-three. Shreyan Dravya Mayad Yagyad. Shreyan. Dravya maya yagya jnana yagya parantapa sarvam karma kilam parta jnane pari samapyate. O Arjuna, subduer the enemy. Knowledge, knowledge sacrifice is superior to the sacrifice of material objects because the perfection of all action, including its fruits, is in culmination, uh, is its culmination in knowledge. O Arjuna, subdue the enemy. Knowledge sacrifice is superior to the sacrifice of material objects because the perfection of all action, including its fruit, is in its com is its culmination in knowledge. So one should engage in ser service and then sacrifice to the Lord with the mood of devotion, not just offering objects and not just engaged in, in a mechanical way. We are also saying that we are not really followers of uh, Vidhi Marg, per se. Vidhi Marg is, is with so many rules and regulations and with the mood of Aishwarya Gyan, of, of a sense of uh, opulence and duty and re and renunciation, all these things which, which can lead to the service of Vishnu, but we are rather um, engaged in uh, Shraddha, not with no, uh, Shraddha means with, with faith, rather we are engaged in um, the plane of, what is, um, the path of uh, bhakti, which is that we're engaged in as to develop the favorable practices of devotee, of bhakti, we're, we're following it that way. What is the word I'm looking for? I'm always, um, uh, that when one is engaged in, in bhakti under, as, a, as a practice, Sadhana bhakti, that we're engaged in sadhana, and it's sometimes looking like, sometimes looking like a, um, it is being done in a, a mechanical way, that sadhana bhakti, that it is being done as, as that uh, bhakti which is done mechanically. That, huh? Yeah. Rules and regulations. It can, it can look like, uh, uh, it can look like 
bhakti that's being done in the same way as, as leading to the worship by so many mantras. The word I just used, uh, uh, that vidi marg, vidi marg, it's looking like vidi marg, but actually we say practice, but it's not just a practice sometimes is seen as, as practice makes perfect, but it's a little different than that when, when we say when we say that a doctor, that's his practice. We don't mean he's, it's his practice, he's is a surgeon, and that he's a practicing physician. That doesn't mean he's practicing on you. He knows his profession, but he's, he's engaged. So these uh, different aspects of sadhana bhakti is meant to always help us remember the Lord and not forget the Lord, but it's, I, I will, and personally, I will see it as 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 different than uh, just that bhakti, which is done on on the basis of you know vidi marg of uh, what? Vidi. Yeah, vidi marg. That's just done mechanically, or or with a sense of opulence and sense of rules and regulations and opulence and thinking of the, for instance, the residents of Vrindavan, they're not thinking of Krishna as God. They're not feeling that they're obligated to serve him or worship him, but they're doing under spontaneous attraction. Now, there's a difference between coming to that level of spontaneous attraction as a result of one's devotion, which will be expressed also and sadhana bhakti, because we can't artificially maintain that we're on that path of spontaneous devotion. So, but we're engaged in the favorable practices of devotion. And Srila Govinda Maharaj, he said, we are not following the path of Vidhi Marg because the devotees, especially the Western devotees, they're they are not capable of, of doing that. They're not capable of just being dominated by mantras and and chanting and everything. But here Krishna is saying that you should not just be engaged mechanically, he says. Thus many types of sacrifice are described in the Vedas and allied scriptures. Know that they are accomplished through action of thought, word, and deed. Knowing this, you will be liberated from the bondage of action. O Arjuna, subduer of the enemy, knowledge sacrifice is better to the sacrifice is superior to the sa O Lord Juna, subduer the enemy. Knowledge sacrifice is superior to the sacrifice of material objects because the perfection of all action, including its fruits, is in it is its culmination of knowledge. You should understand what you're doing, not just that you're doing things mechanically, that you're doing here as as Krishna says is just superior to the sacrifice of material objects. I'm putting this, I'm doing that, I'm offering this, just material objects. I'm offering some grains into the fire. I'm offering like this. But better to be doing that in the sense of that, as Krishna says, vidais cha sarvai raham eva vedyo vedanta veda krida eva Sarvasya chaham riddhi sani vishto mata smritir gyanam apavanam cha vidais cha sarvaya raham eva vedyo vedanta vid vedanta krid veda vid eva chaham. He says, I'm the knower of, I'm the, I'm, I'm the object of knowledge, I'm the knower, I'm, I'm the knower of the Vedas, I'm the compiler of the Vedas, and by the Vedas I'm all that is to be known. So it's better to know that what, and not just to know then the no, absolute knowledge is to actually be be serving krishna or or bahunam janmana mante yanavan mam prapadyate vasudeva sarvamiti samahatma sadurlama after we're supposed to understand what we're how we are acting and what we are doing we're doing all this as service to Krishna, we're not just serving, we're not just offering some objects and sacrifice. Let's see. Tadviri pranipatina pariprasnena sevaya 
Upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninas tattvadarshina tadviri pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya Upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninas tattvadarshina You will be able to attain knowledge by satisfying the Divine Master with submission, relevant inquiry, and sincere service. The enlightened souls who are learned in scriptural knowledge and endowed with direct realization of the Supreme Absolute Truth will impart divine knowledge to you. This is talking about one's relationship with the spiritual master. You will be able to attain knowledge by satisfying the divine master with submission, relevant inquiry, and sincere service. The enlightened souls who are learned in scriptural knowledge and endowed with direct realization of the Supreme Absolute Truth will impart divine knowledge to you. So here we're in the chapter of Jnana Yoga, of knowledge, and here we are understanding where we will get that knowledge from. We will approach, uh, we will approach in a sin submissive way to the spiritual master, Pariprasnena, uh, Tadvidi Pranipatena, Pariprasnena Sevaya. And then we will inquire, we will qu inquire in a, not in a challenging way, but with, an, with the desire, as Krishna said previously, to, to be able to engage in service in a knowing way and well-directed, how, how the spiritual master will help us understand. He'll, uh, he'll help us understand that um, our relationship with the Lord, which we say uh, that the one one, ha one understands a relationship that is and then the process of satisfying that relationship and the goal so uh, again sambandha is relationship abhideya is the practice and prayojan is the goal so here he says so to understand with knowledge, you engage in a submissive way and then you ask questions, but not with a challenging mood, relevant inquiry, and sincere service. Sambandha abhideya prayojana. So what's the, what's the sincere service? We're doing, uh, approaching sorry, uh, pariprasnena sevaya. Sevaya is with the attitude of service. Pranipat with a mood of submission and, and surrender, uh, Pariprasna asking questions, and Sevaya is then satisfying the spiritual master by a submissive service attitude, uh, sincere service. And then it says, the enlightened soul who who are the enlightened souls who are learned in scriptural knowledge and endowed with direct realization of the supreme absolute absolute truth will impart divine knowledge to you. So if the person that you're approaching is tattvadarshi, tattvadarshi meaning that that person is actually capable of directing you, endowed tattvadarshina, endowed with divine realiza realization, or divine with, endowed with divine revelation of the Supreme Absolute Truth. So the person is of that substance, then that person can um, the enlightened souls who are learning scriptural knowledge and endowed with direct realization of that supreme absolute truth will impart divine knowledge to you. So this is the way of approaching the spiritual master. Yajgyatva napunar moham evam yasyasi pandava yena bhutani aseshani Drakshasi Atmani Atomai. O Arjuna, when you are enlightened by this knowledge of the reality, you will no longer be subject to your present illusion. You will see the one spiritual master in all species of life, from highest to lowest, and that all are situated within me. 
So a spiritual master will, you will see him as, as present and he is uh, non-different from the Lord. He will instruct you in all phases of life. O Pandava, when you are enlightened by this knowledge of the reality, you will no longer be subject to your present illusion. You will see the one spiritual nature in all species of life that the Lord is present in all species of life from highest to lowest and that all are situated within me. Okay. Api ched asi pape bya sarve bya papa kritama sarvam yagya plavenaiva vrijinam santarishyasi even if you are the most sinful of all sinners, you will cross the ocean of sins by the boat of knowledge. Even if you are the most sinful of all sinners, you will cross the ocean of sins by the boat of knowledge. And if you accept, who is the, who is the captain? Who is the captain of the ship, the spiritual master? He can take you. Even if you are the most sinful, of all sinners, you will cross the ocean of sins by the boat of knowledge. Well, this chapter is about knowledge and a spiritual master can properly situate you. By, he can properly direct you and properly situate you. Yatai damsi sam vidognir basmasat kuruter juna yagyagni sarvakarmani Basmasat kurute tata. As a blazing fire renders wood to ashes, O Arjuna, the fire of knowledge burns up all worldly actions. As a blazing fire renders wood to ashes, O Arjuna, the fire of knowledge burns up all worldly actions. Naigyanina sadrisham. Pavitram iha vidyate tatsarvam yoga samsida kalenat mani vindati. And this, na igyanena sadrisham pavitram iha vidyate tatsarvam Tatsvayam yoga samsida kalinat mani mani vindati. In this world, there is nothing as pure as knowledge. Eventually, a person who has achieved perfection in the yoga of selfless action naturally realizes this knowledge within his heart. That's, this is 38. Na igyanena sadrisham bhavitrami havidyate tatsvayam yoga samsida. Kalenat mani vindati. As a blazing, oh, in this world, there is nothing as pure as knowledge. Eventually, a person who has achieved perfection in the yoga of selfless action naturally realizes this knowledge within his heart. So we're here, we're, we're hearing about knowledge, and then we're hearing about the realization of that knowledge. So how you can real you hear the knowledge and how you can realize that nothing is as pure as knowledge. Eventually, a person who has achieved perfection in the yoga of selfless action naturally realizes this knowledge within his heart. Vasudeva Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojata Janayat Yasam Janayat Yasu Vairagam Gyanam Charyada Haitukim that if one is engaged in devotion, Vasudeva Bhagavati is hearing about the Lord, serving the Lord, Vasudeva Bhagavati, Bhakti Yoga Prayojata, who's engaged in Bhakti Yoga, Janiya Yashu Vairagyam Gyanam Chayada Haitukam. Then that person naturally will realize detachment from mundane, will not see this world in the spirit of exploitation and also will come to Janayat Yashu Vairam Gyanam Chayada Haitukim will also be able to uh, realize that knowledge or as it says here in this world there is nothing as pure as knowledge eventually a person who has achieved 
perfection in the yoga of selfless action naturally realizes this knowledge within his heart. And agyas chashra dadanascha samshayatma vinashati nayam lokosti naparo nasukam samshayatmana Okay. Well, we're on thirty-nine. Shradavan labate gyanam tatpara samshayant. Shradavan labate gyanam tatpara samyatendriya. Gyanam labva param shantim adirena digachati sharavan labate gyanam tatpara samyatendriya gyanam labva param shantim achirena digachati it is it is the devoted faith, faithful and sense controlled person who attains knowledge, achieving enlightenment, such a person soon attains the supreme peace. It is the devoted, faithful, and sense controlled person who attains knowledge. So we're to proceed with devotion based on faith and with controlling our senses by engaging them in the service of the Lord. It is the devoted, faithful, and sense controlled person who attains knowledge. Achieving enlightenment, such a person soon attains the supreme peace. Agyas chashrada dhanas cha samshayatma vinashati nayam lokos ti naparo nasukam samshayatmana agyas chashrada dhanas cha samshayatma vinashati Nayam lokosti naparo nasukam samshayatmana. The ignorant, faithless, and doubting person is doomed to misfortune. For the doubting soul, there can be happiness neither in this life nor the next. We have always hear those doubts are like demons. Uh, I may not be a perfect practitioner, but I, but I. I have faith. I have faith in my spiritual master. I have faith in the Lord. I may make many wrong actions, but still. The ignorant, faithless, and doubting person is doomed to misfortune. For the doubting soul, there can be happiness neither in this life nor the next. And only doubt can come if one listens to their mind too much. Not good to be on that level. Yoga sanyasta karmanam jnana sanchina samshayam atma vantam na karmani nibadnati nanti dananjaya. Yoga sanyasta karmanam jnana sanchina samshayam Atma vantam na karmani nibad nanti dananjaya. O dananjaya, renouncing all worldly actions by following the path of selfless action, one who serves, one who severs all his doubts by knowledge and realizes his, his internal divine nature can never be bound by action. O dananjaya, renouncing all worldly actions by following the path of selfless action, one who severs all his doubts by knowledge and realizes his internal divine nature can never be bound by action. So we should read these two together. The ignorant, faithless, and doubting person is doomed to misfortune. For the doubting soul there can be happiness neither in this life nor the next. Odan and Jaya renouncing all worldly actions by following the path of selfless action, one who severs all his doubts by knowledge and realizes his internal divine nature can never be bound by action. And here, 
conclude this chapter with Krishna's advice to Arjuna, tasmad ajnana sambhutam ritstam jnana sinatmana chitvainam samshayam yogam atisto tishta bharata tasmad ajnana sambhutam ritstam jnana sinatmanam ya tasmad ajnana sam Sambhutam ritstam jnana sinatmana chitvainam samshayam yogam atisto tishta bharata. Therefore, O Bharata, with the sword of knowledge, slash to shreds all these doubts in your heart, which are born of ignorance. Take, refu take refuge in selfless action and arise for battle. So this is very much related to knowledge. Here Krishna is talking about action performed in knowledge because Arjuna is, a, is to engage in, in battle, but he's to do so without being worried about being bound by the <coughs> re results of his actions, however apparently heinous they may be because he's acting in a selfless way in the service of the Lord. So therefore, O Bharata, with the sword of knowledge slashed to shreds, all these doubts in your heart which are born of ignorance, take refuge in selfless action and arise for battle. There is a conclusion. Take refuge in selfless action and arise for battle. Very pertinent to the life in this world. Iti Shri <coughs> Iti Shri Mahabharate Shata Sahasriyam Samhit Samhitayam Vayasikyam Vayasikyam Bhishma Parvani Srimad Bhagavad Gita Supanishatsu Brahma Vidyayam Yoga Shastra Shri Krishna Arjuna Sambhade Jnana Yoga Nama Chaturto Jaya <clears throat> Iti Shri Mahabharate Shata Sahasriyam Samhitayam Vayasikyam Bhishma Parvani Srimad Bhagavad Gita Supanishatsu Brahma Vidyayam Yoga Shastra Shri Krishna Arjuna Sambhade Jnana Yoga Nama Chaturto Jaya End of chapter 4, The Path of Knowledge from the Conversation of Sri Krishna and Arjuna in Srimad Bhagavad Gita Upanishad, the Yoga Scripture of Transcendental Knowledge in Bhishma Parva of Sri Mahabharata, the Holy Scripture revealed by Srila Vyasadeva in a hundred thousand verses. So, now... Mm. Now sing Hari Haraya. Mm. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama. <laughs> Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopa Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinata Madhanama Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Ganadana Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatan Bhatta Raguna Shri 
Jijiva Gopala Bhata Dasa Raguna Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Jaoi Te Vigna Nashami Stapuram Echai Gosai Jarmui Taradas Kasabar para renu mora pancha gras. Tare charana sebi bhakta sani bhas. Janame janame more abhila. Echai Gosai Jabe Braje Koila Bhas Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Anand Devo Lohari Bhaja Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Manjai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Padma Koriyas Hare Nam Sankirtana Kohe Narachamoga Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare Nitai Gora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Kora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo I've been talking all day. It seems like I'm losing my voice today. Uh, let's see. Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridari Juki Jai. Jai Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Srila Bhakti Rakakshidar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gorki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Satchi Dananda Bhakti Vinota Korka Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma, Srila Jagannath Das, Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai. Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Namachari Srila Haridas Sakur Ki Jai. Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Sri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath, Shadgo Swami Prabhu Ki Jai. Premzigo Sri Krishna Chaitanya. 
Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasati Sri Gora Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Vishvabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai. Ananda Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Madhacharya Vrinda Ki Jai. Sri Navadip Dham Ki Jai. Sri Dhammayapur Ki Jai. Saparshita Sri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai. Saparshita Sri Man Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Shri Kaladvip Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan, Sham Kundur Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju Ki Jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo.